sure if it's uh, it, it's it's pretty addictive, I guess. Like it's it's good fun. It's a it's a really big challenge. Um, makes me very nervous every time I come here. But yeah, no, nah, I guess it's that. I guess to, to the challenge. I guess yeah. If you if you want to make a lot a lot of power, they need to rev hard to make a spectacular number, I suppose. And the whole plan with this one was to, to reduce its capacity. So previously it was always a 496 cube when I used to race it and a couple of the earlier dyno comps. And this is now 439 cubic inches. It's got a very short crank in it. Same bore size, but a short crank. It's the same basic Merlin 3 block. It's got cast iron RHS cylinder heads, literally out of the box, no porting. It's got an Eagle crankshaft in it. It's got a set of aluminium con rods in it. It's got a Wiseco piston in it. Um, big solid roller. Uh, tight, like manly severe duty valves. Jessel rocker gear. Uh, it's a pretty good solid engine. It's not real exotic, but it's fairly, fairly strong. This turbocharger on it now is, is like an MFS machine from solid, one 10 millimeter billet uh, compressor. So similar camshaft profiles in the larger cube motor were all done at about 65, 66. This this will peak at about 86 now. So it's it's a pretty pretty good little thing, I suppose. Yeah. Today we'll do a, a couple of sort of exploratory runs, I suppose. But yeah, no really big numbers today. Um, I haven't run it since the tyre exploded, um, and and getting it obviously out of the panel shop. So yeah, if I can win the competition again which would be really nice. Now, now, if that's at a big number, it's at a big number, but I think I'll, 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 I'll try and complete the competition, and then on the Sunday, if everything's sort of all still together and happy, um, yeah, I'll, I'll get the fella to give it a good rev and we'll see what happens. I love any car where the scales start at 800. 